I've always been jealous of people with larger tanks for one main reason, and it's not just because of the bigger display size. It's actually because I've always wanted one of these. So you're probably wondering, wait, what? That box of water underneath the tank? And yes, these things are awesome. They're called sumps and refugiums. For all you beginners watching, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of how these work and why you should get one. But I know a lot of you out there already have some set up. What is this, amateur hour? So if you think you know everything about sumps, just wait, because I'm gonna be giving you some upgrades, hacks, and things that you might not know about to definitely take advantage of in your sump to maximize its full potential. And finally, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install a brand new sump completely from scratch. I'm actually gonna be replacing this traditional sump right here with the Trigger Systems brand new Triton style sump. And if you utilize the full Triton method, you'll actually be able to eliminate the need to do any more water changes. But whether you're here for the basics or the deeper knowledge, knowledge, make sure to stick around until the end of this video because I'm gonna be giving away three of the ultimate refugium starter packs from algaebarn.com. So you at least wanna stick around for the chance to win one of those. All right, so let's get into it. What is a sump? A sump is simply an extra tank that holds more water for your main display. They're usually placed underneath aquariums, and when you have a tank this big, this is where you have to place all your equipment, perform your maintenance tasks, and most importantly, this is where you should be setting up your refugium. Okay, but what's the difference between a sump and a refugium? The sump is the whole box, and the refugium is just one section of the box that you create. You put things like live rock, live sand, things with really high porous surface area like marine pure block, macroalgae, a light to grow the macroalgae, and then microfauna, things like copepods and phytoplankton. These are all different things that you should put into your refugium to help cultivate an environment that reduces nitrates and phosphates. Nutrients. We're gonna go way more in depth on those things once we set up the refugium, but just note that refugiums are very important. Now you're still probably wondering, what's a real benefit besides just having a place to store all your equipment quietly and conveniently in one place? And I'm gonna get right to it. It will add more water volume to your system. And generally speaking, the bigger your tank, the more total gallons of water in your system, the easier it's gonna to be to take care of. And that's just because changes will then happen slower and so if you make any mistakes, it's going to be a little bit more forgiving. Everything will go 100 times slower, Morty. That'll buy us some time to figure this out. So the question is, should you get a sump? The answer is 100% yes. If you can afford one and you have the room for one, you should definitely get a sump of any kind because having one is better than not having one and the bigger, the better. That's what she said. <laughs> So now we're gonna teach you how to set up a brand new sump completely from scratch on this 85 gallon tank. I'm here with Lan from algaebarn.com and he's gonna help me remove the old sump and install the new one. <laughs> now that we've removed the old sump, we're going to do a fresh install of the new trigger system sump. Oh my God, it's in. The first step in setting up your sump is connecting it to the main display tank. I'm not going to spend much time going over how to plumb sumps because every tank situation is different. I do though want you to understand how it works. Basically the water leaves the main display through some kind of an overflow and because of gravity it'll naturally fall down. You connect the end of the overflow to the entrance of the sump using something like PVC, you can get very cheap at any hardware store. Then the water flows through the different chambers which hold things like the refugium, we'll set that up last, a protein skimmer, filter media, reactors, and finally in the last chamber, a return pump which pushes the water all the way back up to the main display. Once you've added all the big pieces of equipment to the sump, you can fill it with water and now we're ready to set up the refugium. To do this, I got the Ultimate Refugium Starter Pack from algaebarn.com, which contains almost everything you need to set up a refugium. 
The pack comes with a 100% alive on arrival guarantee. The first thing in the package you should use is Turbo Start from Fritz Aquatics if your tank isn't already cycled. This stuff packs a powerful punch of bacteria and can cycle your tank in as little as 5 days. Next, you want to add surface area for all that bacteria to colonize. A lot of people end up using sand and live rock in the refugiums, but this pack includes something even better. It's called Marine Pure Block, and it has an unbeatable amount of surface area and stays clean, so the more of this stuff that you add, the better. It's also going to provide a place to live for the next thing included in this package, which is Algae Barn's three species copepod blend called 5280 Pods. Copepods are one of the most underrated ways to improve the overall health of your reef tank. If you're expecting to keep picky eaters like mandarin gobies, it's super important you seed your tank with copepods so that they can establish themselves before you put any fish into the tank. The next thing in this pack is Algae Barn's phytoplankton blend called Ocean Magic, which will feed the pods. The last thing included is a popular type of macroalgae called Clean Kato, which Algae Barn treats and quarantines to make sure it's free of any unwanted parasites. This is a beneficial type of algae you put in the refugium because it absorbs nitrates and phosphates to grow, thus removing those excess nutrients from your tank's water. Nutrients. Just remember to pick up a light for your refugium to help keep that macroalgae alive. As you can see, this pack includes all the vital components necessary to create your refugium. Algae Barn has very generously decided to support 12G Nation, and so they're giving away three of their ultimate refugium starter packs to you guys. All you have to do is comment on this video below any experience you've had with your sump, refugium, macroalgae, or pods. Just share any knowledge you got with the rest of the community here. Knowledge. And you're automatically entered in for the giveaway. They also want to allow you one extra entry. To get this one, all you have to do is post a photo of your reef tank, your system, on Facebook or Instagram, tag Algae Barn, and hashtag Got Pods, and you automatically get a second entry in this giveaway. But because there can only be three winners and maybe you only need one of the things offered in their pack like just the pods or just the macroalgae, you can always use the code CORALFISH12G at checkout on algaebarn.com for 10% off your order. Now if you can give me 60 more seconds of your time, I'm going to show you how you can use your sump and something called the Triton method to never have to do water changes again. You do water changes for two main reasons, to remove excess nutrients and to replenish the good elements for your corals, etc. Triton makes the refugium section of this sump really big because if you set up a good enough refugium, then your sump will take care of removing all the excess nutrients. So there's half of it. For replenishing the good elements, so every once in a while you'll send in a sample of your water to Triton's lab based in Los Angeles. They'll test your water for virtually everything using really high tech machines and send you the results with precision accuracy. They'll literally tell you then exactly how many drops of which elements you need to add to the tank so there's no guesswork, you're giving your tank exactly what it needs. Although this is a relatively new way of keeping aquariums, some of the best reef tanks in the world utilize the Triton method so it's been proven to work time and time again. Ultimately, you should definitely get a sump and set up a refugium if your situation allows for it. It definitely helps maintain a lot more stability in your reef tank. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. A big thank you to algaebarn.com for helping me make this video. And also be sure to comment to enter their giveaway. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.